What's up everybody, Josh Cyril here. Today I wanna to tell you about my biggest mistake 3D printing so far. And it's a really stupid one. So normally when things come out of my printer, I've been bringing them over here to my little impromptu table. I just realized I'm holding this with my right hand that tends to shake a little bit these days as I'm getting older. And what I would do is set up my build tray here with the little hanging mount that I have, rinse everything off, uh, clean off the resin, kind of swish it around a bit, add some paper, paper towel laying down, and I would knock the pieces off uh, the build plate with the, uh, the, the putty knife, and then clean them up again and whatever, whatever. Well, once or twice, I had my... I had my uh, gloves tear. So, uh, whatever, you know, lots of racing over the years, lots of chemicals and things. So I figured, you know, no big deal. This this will be all right. So just use a little bit of isopropyl and uh, clean them all up and all that and uh, carry it on. So in hindsight, I should have got one of those wash and cure stations right away, but I didn't. So, from tearing my gloves and whatever, I obviously had some alcohol and things in my hands. Now, everything was actually pretty cool until we went to Dallas. Kind of the drive down with my left hand on the wheel, driving, kind of felt funny. And well, down in Dallas started having more issues and the tournament finished and you know, some of you may have seen my Facebook post where we went and uh, hung out in the uh, in the old um, uh, Texas State Fair, we went to Six Flags, and by the end of Six Flags, I was hurting and not feeling really good. Now, fair warning, this is gross. If you don't want to see it, don't look. But basically what was happening, I, my opinion, is that the resin was in my pores from being thinned down so much from the uh, isopropyl, because that's what you use to clean up the resin. And being out in the sun, it cured. So my hands felt very plasticky and very dried out. And now they're in the process of kind of like bolting and blistering and all this kind of stuff. So um, not in a lot of pain, did go to the doctors, have some antibiotics and some ointments and stuff in my hands to try and get them back together. But I am gonna show you, as I have made sure to show my kids who are gonna be printing and playing and stuff with me also don't do it wear the gloves if you tear a glove take them off don't worry about the mess clean up your hands right away get another set of gloves back on and then you can get back to cleaning up your mess and printing all right so again they're kind of gross so i warned you So I did put band-aids on the, uh, the open spots there. And some of the blisters are kind of tearing up and opening up some. So it's not pretty, but you know, it's all healing up. So needless to say, if you're gonna 3D print, it's a lot of fun. There's lots of cool stuff you can make. There's lots of cool things we can do. We're gonna be doing a ton um, I'm going to unbox my other two printers, get those up and running, but number one thing, wear the freaking gloves. Do not, do not think that, ah, it's no big deal, I don't need no gloves, I'm a tough guy, because, well, you're not, trust me. All right, have a good one, everybody, catch you later.